Hello everybody, we had the Jeep all packed up with the inflatable kayak and a new accessory. Let the adventure begin. And we have made it to the site of our adventure, the Crooked River Preserve. 8.30 in the morning, lots of fog right now. We'll see if this is gonna burn off or not, or how long it's gonna to take to burn off. So the Crooked River Preserve, a pretty neat little place. I'm gonna tell you more about it when we have the kayak on the water, and then when we get back, I'll show you around the grounds. But it is a pretty cool place, I'm just anxious to get that kayak in the water. Right off the bat, I can tell you I like that this is a paved pathway, basically straight down to the launch area. And here is our kayak and canoe launch area. Kind of primitive, but look at this tree. That is a cool looking tree. And to be honest, quite honest, I am looking forward to getting onto the water with this fog so I need to hurry up and get this Zeppelin inflated and here is my newest kayak accessory my new cooler it's got a handy dandy lid you can operate with one hand and best of all I'm not going to use it today but it has a tap an unbelievable tap and there's my cooler on the back of my kayak. You can see it's all color-coded to match the Zeppelin. But there we are, the vessel all ready to launch. Cooler, seat, my Magnapod. Okay, let's set this baby in the water. All right, my friends, we are underway on the Crooked River. A little bit of fog, too. Nice. The Crooked River connects two lakes, Lake Lucia, the larger lake, to Lake Susan, the smaller lake, but they are both part of a, a chain of lakes, the Claremont chain of lakes. That little preserve area where we came in, pretty nice. There is no fee to park there. There's no fee to enter and no fee to park. It's just, uh, it's free. Just pull in, park, launch your canoe, launch your kayak, and there's some other things to do there. I'll show you when we get back. Yeah, I've been needing this. For those of you who follow me on my other channel, uh, Rick's Flicks, the theme park channel, I've been very busy putting out content on that channel. I'm always in a crowd, of course, being in a theme park, so this, this is what I've been needing. I'm going to enjoy today. this way can you see through there I'll get closer but we've got cows to quote twister we have cows cows you never know what you're gonna find on these road trips alligators manatee now cows that one's just staring at me I know you've seen kayakers here before. Hello, Norman, hello. Another movie quote. And name that movie. Norman, the cow, over their nose. Also over here by the cows, a canoe. I assume it's the ranch owner's canoe. For that reason, I know Norman. Norman, I know you're used to seeing kayaks and canoes. Don't act so surprised. 
See that one over there? She's in the water. She was having a sip earlier. And then she was reaching up, trying to get some moss. She's going deeper in the water now. Holy cow. <laughs> Who would have thought when they clicked on this video, going on a river adventure, we'd run into some cows. Not me. Looks like she came out this way for some water and some moss the other cows aren't getting. Well, that, my friends, was the most impressive thing I've seen all week. The fog is hanging around longer than I thought. Kind of see the sun up there. We're getting close to 9.30. Still have the fog out. Here's something I didn't realize. There's a fork in the river. I think I'll go right. Actually, it was not a fork in the river. It just uh, made a little loop. We have a little marshy area on that side that, you know, the water just goes around it both ways. So I could have taken either path. Since it's not a fork in the river, just a little loop, I think I'll play in this area, set up my little floating GoPro, try to get some cool shots for you guys. So all this is, is a boogie board, a selfie stick with a little tripod adapter on the bottom and a GoPro. I do have uh, it all latched together so if the stick fell over into the water it would still be connected to the boogie board therefore I wouldn't lose it. I didn't mention this when we launched, but I went right onto the river. That should head towards Lake Susan. That's the smaller lake. Had I gone left, that would have taken me to Lake Louisa, I believe. I think so. We'll check the map when we get back to the preserve. I've reached Lake Susan. Yeah, there's the sign. So I'm going to turn around and go the other way, but let's take note again of the fog. It is a little after 10 in the morning and the fog is still so heavy. There's that word again, heavy. Why are things so heavy in the future? Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? Not much in the way of wildlife as far as the water is concerned. No manatees, no gators. A lot of birds though. A lot of birds. I've got the river all to myself. I am in heaven. Well, I jinxed myself. No sooner do I say it's just me and the birds. Then I see my first boater of the day. Nikki asked me to take pictures, so I took a picture of that tree. Pretty cool looking. <clears throat> see how the trees are all blown sideways and stuff? result of hurricanes no doubt but adds a cool look to the place so we have almost made it back to the little uh the parking area i think we're gonna pull in there i'll show you around maybe grab a bite of that cuban sandwich i have with me and then we'll head over uh to the other lake but this way i can have a little snack break and show you around the little uh kind of the park area that they have Okay, my friends, the fog has burned off. The sun is out. We've made it back to shore. I'll show you around the place in a second. Something I forgot to point out with my new Kula. I showed you the tap, which is super cool. We're going to make some type of punch later on um, in the year. Uh, but it does come with a bottle opener right there. So they have thought of everything with that Kula. And I will be trying everything with that Kula. But as for now, let's give you a little tour. There's where I parked. Get out, we're welcome to a informational board. There's actually a QR code for an interactive map. I should have scanned that before I started. And then right over there, two restrooms. Very much appreciated. This is the path 
down to the launch area. We've got uh, two or three picnic tables down here. Here's one, looks pretty new. Has a little sandbox play area with it. The one I'm using, a little further down over there. The canoe and kayak launch area I showed you earlier. It's foggy then. There's the, uh, the big tree, the big cool looking tree I showed you too. Here's a much older picnic table, but it is by this cool looking funky tree. You know the kids would have a good time playing on that tree. Wow. Very cool looking. Sorry. Here it is from another angle. This has got to be old. I mean, the, the branches are so big and heavy. It's like they're even... They've grown into the ground and out again. Well, this is interesting. They have some canoes and kayaks locked up, chained up. Let me investigate further. There is a sign over here. Crooked River Preserve. Canoes are available for public use with a $50 deposit per canoe. Applications available at the Lake County Water Authority office. So essentially, the kayaks and the canoes are free. Just that deposit, you get that deposit back. And then, so there's the canoes and the kayaks, but over here in this little metal box, that's the paddles and your life preservers. So this little park is for picnicking, kayaking, canoeing, and they have some trails for us. But uh, we're not gonna go far. I will go a short little jaunt down here just to show you what it's like. I mean, I'm not actually wearing the proper footwear for a long hike. I'm wearing my, my little slides because I was getting in and out of the kayak. Not prepared for a long hike today. Plus, I don't want to get too far away from my kayak. But here we go. Here's the first little marker. This orange painted post. Throughout the trail, I have noticed these little informational cards on the plant life. This here, a wax myrtle. Okay, I'm back at the board. I figured it out. What we really need to do is scan the QR code and it will tell us about each of the trails and how long they are. And there are significant miles of trails here at the uh, Crooked River Preserve. So, there you go. Check out the QR code for more information. So there's our little look at the grounds area here. Pretty simple, but again, you don't have to pay to park. You don't have to pay to get in. Do some picnicking, some hiking, some kayaking. If you're brave, some canoeing. Oh, we don't talk about canoes on this channel. Ooh, no canoes. But as for now, let's hop back in the kayak, head on down the river. Okay, here we go. Back on the road again, per se. Really the water. But uh, we're heading the other way. Lake Luisa this time. Maybe we'll spot more uh, water animal life. Amphibians, alligators, turtles, stuff like that. We'll see. I don't know if we'll get all the way down to Lake Louisa, but probably. Like, I've got nothing else to do today. I think I have time to go all the way down to that lake and back. I do have to be home by 6 p.m., though. I do have a video premiere on my other channel, the Rick's Flix channel, the theme park channel. So, have to be home by then, I think. Over to my right is a boat ramp. Picnic table's there too. I see one boat trailer. That must be the guy who passed me earlier today, but there is a boat ramp over here. Seems to be a pretty easy paddle both ways. I don't notice a current. The only issue I have now is the fog's burned off and the sun is out, so the heat index has gone up. I know Nikki wants pictures from my IG stories, but uh, it's pretty much trees and moss. Trees and moss. So those trails I told you about go back this way. There's a bench right there for people who walk the trail can sit and look at the water and stuff. But right there, right there's the lake. That was a short paddle. Look at that. I paddled right up to the bench. Time for a sip of a Gatorade. You know what? It's not a tree. I better take a picture of that bench.
Well, since we got to Lake Louisa pretty fast, you know, maybe I'll tool around just a bit on the lake. Wouldn't you just love to have this house right at the start of Lake Louisa and the Crooked River with the pretty trees? Oh, goodness. I mean, just look at that. The camera probably not doing it justice with the color of the leaves and the, the trees and the Spanish moss. Oh, my. The water today, like glass, it's amazing. Great conditions for a subboard. Too bad Nikki's not here. Appears as if I am the only one at the moment on Lake Louisa. Earlier, we saw that one boat go by the uh, when he's going down the Crooked River to Lake Susan, but it looks like I'm the only one here on this particular lake today at this hour. Let's head down that way. We've got some pretty trees over there, and then I think we'll uh, we'll head back to the Jeep. You guys who watch my other channel, you know I love my theme parks. But also, I love my natural Florida. Okay, that's enough of Lake Louisa. Back into the Crooked River. Oh, check out the sign. It tells us how far to Lake Susan. Only 1.4 miles. So my first guess of five or six miles was way off. It is just one basically one and a half miles for this little uh crooked river almost three if you go both ways people like to decorate the tree stumps and the fallen trees along the way here's the latest one that i've discovered i don't know which way the current's going but I know which way the wind is blowing. It's blowing straight at me. Making the paddle back a little more difficult. So not a very long paddle. I think Nikki would enjoy it though on her sub board. Water's like glass. The scenery is pretty. Only 20 minutes from our house. Don't have to pay to park or get in. This could be a nice little uh, enjoyable paddle for both of us. The Crooked River. A nice little kayaking run. I think I may have discovered a hidden gem. Okay, let's deflate this baby and go try my new barbecue place. But first, do you guys want to see how well the Kula did? Looks like it did a pretty good job. Well, all right, we've got the Jeep all loaded up again. Oscar Mike to Uncle Kenny's barbecue. But wait, before we head to Uncle Kenny's, look what's coming our way. A tortoise. Didn't see alligators, didn't see manatees, but tortoise, cows, and birds. All right, with that last bit of nature out of the way, let's go get some grub. About 10 minutes from Crooked River, right over there, Uncle Kenny's, and right next door to the Citrus Tower. Interesting. But this is some good barbecue. Let's go get some. Uncle Kenny's barbecue, some good barbecue. You should see this guy's trophy room. Well, Uncle Kenny has the trophy room closed right now, but just trust me, it's like a huge room in there full of trophies. Pulled pork sandwich, barbecue baked beans, and the sauces, the barbecue sauces are amazing. I don't know which one to try first. You know what, let's go with the original, then we'll go with the mustard. All done with my Uncle Kenny's barbecue. I haven't worked my way down the entire menu, but everything I've ever had there has been amazing. I love their sauces. That, um, the mustard barbecue sauce is great. The original is awesome. If you like barbecue and you're in the Claremont area, check out Uncle Kenny's. As far as all of Central Florida is concerned, my favorite barbecue place. Look at this guys, first kayaking, then barbecue, now twisty treat ice cream. 
Aren't I just having the best day ever? We'll go with my favorite, a banana milkshake. Well, all right, guys, we made it home. I wasn't killed by alligators or cows today, so that's a good thing. And by the way, my milkshake was awesome, just like my whole day at the Crooked River. I can't wait to get Nikki out there. And like I always say to you guys, adventure is out there. You can find it on a road trip. See you next time. But wait, not so fast. Who's going to help me wash up the uh, kayak there? And then also, I have to put that away. That's a Christmas gift from Nikki. She doesn't know I used it today. Boy, is she going to be surprised when she does the editing on this.